What's going on everybody? This is Omar T from the Fantasy Guys and I am here to do a quick recap of the Detroit Pistons 2022 NBA Draft and man oh man am I excited of how things turned out with the Detroit Pistons starting off with the fifth overall pick the Pistons selected guard out of Purdue Jaden Ivey man oh man I'm so excited that the Pistons took him I was so happy when when Sacramento decided to take Keegan Murray first of all Starting off with Sacramento, you know, I was never concerned with them taking Jaden Ivey. I was more concerned with them trading that pick and to a team that wanted Jaden Ivey because they had got numerous of phone calls, numerous offers for that fourth overall pick. But I guess they turned it down to take Keegan Murray out of Iowa. But I was never concerned with Sacramento taking Jaden Ivey because of the simple fact that they have De'Aaron Fox, they have Tyrese Halliburton, and they have Davion Mitchell. So they have a good young core nucleus of guards so i wasn't concerned with them taking Jaden ivy you know i was just worried that they were going to trade that pick away but they didn't they stayed put and they took keegan murray the pistons got the steal of the draft Jaden ivy at the number fifth pick i was so upset that the lottery turned out the way it did but everything happens for a reason Thank you, Sacramento, for taking Keegan Murray. Thank you, Detroit Pistons, for taking Jaden Ivey. People say that his NBA comparison is to John Morant. I know that's very far-fetched, but at the end of the day, if you watch the way he plays, it's very similar. He can throw it down. He can get up. He can run down the courts as fast as anyone in the league. I'm telling you right now, the Pistons' backcourt tandem of Cunningham and Ivey is a great tandem to have for the future. When the Pistons have been great in the past, it always started with our backcourt. We had Isaiah and Dumar. We had Chauncey and Rip, and now we have Cunningham and Ivy. Those two guys, Pistons fans, you should be looking forward to watching those two guys grow in the next five to ten years. It's going to be awesome. But the Pistons didn't stop there. Troy Reaver. Troy, my boy. Troy, my boy. Did not stop there. He decided to trade into the 13th pick to take Jalen Duran, the center out of Memphis, who's also athletic who can run up and down the floor. He's going to fit perfectly with Cunningham and Ivy. Young talent coming in from Memphis. Could have been a top 10 pick. Dropped to 13. Troy Weaver was like, hmm, let me go ahead and make this happen right quick. Let me go get my boy. You know, originally in the Jeremy Grant deal, the Pistons traded Jeremy Grant for a 2025 first round pick that was from the Milwaukee Bucks. I wasn't too excited about that pick. We also traded, by the way, our 46th pick in the second round to get the 36th pick, to move up 10 picks. I was like, eh, whatever. It is what it is, you know? But the next day, Troy Weaver wasn't done. We thought he was done, but he was not done. He traded that 2025 pick from the Bucks, which, by the way, Giannis is still around. So you're talking about a good mid to late 20th pick. You know, the Bucks ain't going nowhere for the next couple of years. I mean, we should know that, especially if Giannis is still around. So traded that Bucks pick. To move up to number 13, still kept the 36 pick that he traded originally in the Jamie Grant trade. And yes, we got Kemba Walker on his contract, but I'm hearing that we are dumping Kemba Walker. I heard that he's not going to be staying in Detroit, that we're just, you know, we took on that money to move up to the 13th pick. We have money to do something like that. So got the guy he wanted. You know, he tried very hard to trade Jeremy Grant for the seventh pick that the Portland Trailblazers has had. You know, those are rumors. I'm assuming that that's what he really wanted to do because he wanted to take Jalen Durant at number seven. I would not be surprised if Ivy wasn't available at five if he took him at five because he was very high on this Jalen Durant guy from Memphis. Check out his highlights, by the way, on YouTube. Uh, solid, solid player that we got. Um, but decided to trade up to number 13, still get the guy he wanted, still kept his 36 pick that he got from the second round, and got Kemba Walker in a deal as well. So, awesome job, Troy Reaver. You know, you definitely deserve a round of applause. Pistons fans, you should be excited. This is what it's like to have a great GM. You know, the Lions are seeing it with Brad Holmes. The Red Wings are seeing it with Steve Eisenman. Now the Pistons are getting a chance to see it with Troy Reaver. This guy has been awesome since he's got here. We have a lot of cap space to still make moves. Pistons basketball is trending up. 